This is Teacher Jordan. I have missed you guys so much. And I know that you guys have had a lot of questions about my animal because I know you guys love animals so much. So I am going to make a video to show you guys my sugar glider Shasta. So I'm going to show you what I do, how to get her out, and what she eats, and how we take care of her over here. So this is her cage over here. She has a thermometer up top because she has to be at least 70 degrees. That's as hot as it gets in summertime. So this says 77.2 degrees, so that's bigger than 70, so she's warmer. She's warm enough. This heat lamp is what keeps her warm. And then when I take her out, I click it off, and then it turns off. And then to get her out, I move the heat lamp out of the way, open her cage door, and then she sleeps in a banana. She loves her banana, if you can see that. And you can see all the food. She likes oranges, and she likes strawberries, and she likes kiwis she loves kiwis and baby carrots she loves baby carrots she's got lots of fruit in there every night and she's nocturnal so that means that she sleeps during the day but she's awake at night time so what i do is i unclip her from her banana it's called the banana pouch and i get her out so she can go potty and eat her food so her name is shasta you guys want to look at shasta She's my sugar glider. So a sugar glider, she kind of looks like a little mouse, right? But she's actually a marsupial. A marsupial is an animal that's related to kangaroos. Can you believe that? She's got a little pouch on her tummy, just like kangaroos do. So I take her out and she gets her own little blinky. So I grab her corn and I get some paper towels for her so that she has something to eat. Oh, silly me, I forgot her little blinky. I gotta find her a little blinky to put her in. She really likes this blue blinky. Oh, and she's ready. When she sees her blinky, she knows it's time to come out and have something to eat. So I put her on my couch, and then I put my paper towels down so she has something to go potty on, because everybody has to go potty, even, even animals do. And then I put the paper towels down, and she knows that that means it's time to eat. So she comes out of her banana and her favorite food is corn. So I give her the corn and she'll follow it, watch. She loves her corn. I can even make her stand up to eat it because she loves it so much. And then I move the banana out of the way where she sleeps and she holds the corn. And this isn't even a whole piece of corn. This is when you break a piece of corn in half and then you break it in half again, so it's only about this big amount of corn. And so you can see how big she is. So she's teeny. She weighs probably about a quarter of a pound. A quarter of a pound means she's really, really little. That means she's a lot smaller than a mouse. And the coolest part about her is that she can fly. So a sugar glider is like a flying squirrel a lot of people see, say. She has wings under her arms right here that she can open up and then she plays. So I'm gonna scoot her over here because she's already starting to go potty. So we put paper towels on her to make sure she is. And she, as you can see, she loves her corn. She has two hands and she has two legs, but for this sad little girl, one of her legs is missing. She's only got, so on this side, she's got a foot, but on here, she has a stump. A stump means that she lost her leg. And my fiance, a fiance, somebody who is somebody I'm gonna get married to, that's what that means, is gonna help us see her stump. So you can see her foot that's missing. So instead of a foot there, she's got a stump. She gets shy about it, but it's underneath there. You can see that little pink spot, that's her stump. We like to call it a stumpy because it makes her feel happy. So she sits here and then she eats and eats and eats and she's really, really soft. I'll show you how little she is. So if I lean in and give her a kiss, you can see how teensy tiny she is. She's not even as big as my face, but she's a really, really happy girl. And I know I had promised you guys that you guys would be able to meet her one of the times. But now that we're not at school, I wanted to give you a video to show her. So. If your parents will let you, can you take a picture of your pet at home and have them post it online so we can all see your favorite pets because I'm so excited because I know a lot of you have dogs and kitties 
and other animals. I know some of you even have some birds and I'm really excited to see that. So if you want to share your animal and you can even make a video and tell me all the things you need to do to take care of a pet because my pet is probably very different than yours. Like a dog, what do you think they eat? They eat dog food, right? But a sugar glider, she eats corn. A dog wouldn't eat corn. That's just silly. What would a kitty eat, do you think? Hmm, kitties eat kitty food, right? Do you think that they could eat tomatoes and cantaloupe and oranges and kiwis like her? Nope, they can't. And you know what's even crazier about her? Her favorite drink is Gatorade. Do you think a dog can drink Gatorade? No, what do dogs drink? They drink water. She's a different and unique animal. Unique means that she's special. She's very different and she, I love her so much. So I want you guys to tell me all about your favorite pets because me and teacher Olivia and teacher Candace, we miss you guys and we wanna know about how you guys are doing and what you're doing to take care of your pets. So let your parents know that we are excited to hear. I look forward to seeing you guys soon.